life could be a dream If I could take you up in paradise up above Oh, what up, the <laughs> Welcome back to the fucking channel. I'm Slut. Been a while. Um, I, I apologize for that. Today, we're going to be checking out Life is But a Dream by Avenged Sevenfold. I actually went and saw A7X recently. Um, about Louder Than Life there in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, so I've heard probably two or three of these songs. I did a little different set list where they play a little less of these when I saw them. But I actually want to dive into this one because like, as an A7X fan who's familiar with a lot of their past work, uh, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this one. But I've been holding off listening to it because I wanted to record it for the channel. But then I took a hiatus. So I just never listened to it. There are some time codes on this video. If you just want to go ahead and skip through the reaction, do that now. Hey, girl. Sorry for being gone. Been like six, seven months. I apologize. I, I have really bad ADHD, so I've been trying to make it as a Minecrafter. That really hasn't worked out well, so I'm you know, coming back to what I know. I have a bet going on. I have three different YouTube channels. I have a gaming one, I have Slut, and then I have Psychotic, my, my main Minecraft one. Whichever one does the best by the end of the year, whichever one I'm having the most fun with, whichever one that I can see doing better, it's going to become the only channel. So the, the name of this channel, if it does well, might change to Psychotic, because that's what I'm mainly known by. Um, I also created a Patreon because I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments saying that, oh, I wish you didn't cut down the footage, but you can't really do that on YouTube and not expect the video to get taken down, which I mean, it's already bad enough how I do it. I get claimed and all this shit, but it would just be even more of a headache with the full album. So I'm going to cut it down into a full album length. I'm going to upload those to the Patreon first, and then I'll cut it down the rest for the YouTube format. So if you want longer videos, if you want more stuff, hell, if you want like a sticker of my face or something, go over to the Patreon. I, I, that's much appreciated. I don't expect that whatsoever. But if you want that, it's there. I also want to start doing more topic team videos. Kind of like, you, like it is, my channel is already real, really based off of like Brad tasting music. Um, Not necessarily like, oh, top 10 worst songs or what are the best songs? Or the worst? No, I want to do like, let's check out some shitty artists online. Let's check out some... Just the worst the internet has to fucking offer, you know? So, like, um, I think we might start, we might check out, like, CG5 or something. I know there's a really love-hate relationship with the internet with CG5. Give me some ideas for those. For like, like, give me some really niche content creators who are making music online or parodies or things like that, and we'll, we'll just rip into them. <laughs> He's not lying. Cute. I fixed in my belt. You're cute as hell. I fixed in my belt. Oh, look how cute she is fixing her belt. <laughs> Without further ado, life is but a dream. I think the only songs I've heard, I think I've heard uh, We Love You, and I might have heard Mattel. I'm not sure. Track one on this album looks like it's about 11 song album. Track one is going to be Game Over. Lyrically, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm thinking back to like like some classic of Sevenfold songs like Afterlife. Like um, you can follow along pretty well. Like like it, they're full concepts. This is it. He's just like party fighting, wasted summer, questions doubted, wedding family. Like it's all over the place. It's very like chaotic. A lot of different concepts just being thrown away, thrown out. The guitar is always fucking Chris up. Uh, it's so fucking well. Okay. Getting a little soft. Getting a little soft again. Okay. Looking back on it, that actually made a lot of sense because the instrumental was very chaotic. It was just all over the place. Instruments being thrown all over the place and stuff. Now that we've calmed down, now that we we were settled here, now the thoughts are a lot more clear too. I, I kind of like that. I get the vision. Very harsh piano. Suicide! Yeah! Obviously, what are you saying? Tossing a rope over his family tree, saying goodnight. That, that's death. Life is but a dream anyway. I can see, I can see. 
I understand, Mr. Shadows. Uh, track one? I, I get the vision. Okay? Uh, I could see that being very, like, jarring to a new listener or someone who hasn't listened to A7X in a while. Yeah, like, what the fuck am I listening to? But I get it. It is talking about how chaotic life is and then those moments of clarity you get. Uh, obviously, this is about a man who commits suicide, so... You know, he, he's probably looking back on life with a sense of clarity once it's over, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would say that's probably good. Someone cooked here. Not, not the best song I've heard from them, but, you know, not the worst. We made it this far into the video. Comment on your favorite A7X song. I think uh, uh, Afterlife is my favorite. That or uh, Shepherd of Fire. Mattel, before we even start with that, what I get is images of Barbie. Hot Wheels, like, uh, very fake and plastic. Ooh! Maybe they didn't play this one. Ooh, a little whining there. Some kick. Oh. It's me! It's metal as fuck, bro. Yeah. So his voice obviously isn't as great as it used to be, but I, I do appreciate he is trying to put on a, a bit of clinic here. Like, <laughs> it, it's not as harsh, it's very melodic. It's, it's nice to hear. Uh, but yeah, yeah we're, we're getting the things that I already thought we would be getting. We're getting uh, LED beams, uh, boy yellow birds, flake plastic trees, you know. Ah! Digging it. People really. This album I've heard was really love or hate, and I'm. I'm... Ooh. Okay. I'm stuck with the newest one. Okay. The production really is following the things he's saying really well. It is the lyrics themselves are driving the production, and that's really fucking cool. I'm, I'm gonna bring this back a little bit. Oh, sorry. Listen whenever he starts doing Please Attend All Model Citizen RSVP. It sounds like he's speaking over an intercom. Yeah, it turned to like an intercom system. Fucking sick. I love that. Ooh. That's a great fucking reference because he's talking about the Truman Show there. <laughs> and how everything was fake and created for Truman and you can't trust anything you fucking say. In a song called Mattel where everything's plastic and fake. That line hits. It's sick. Ooh, halftime? Okay. Guitar? I ran through a sim? Cool. Barbie's metal as fuck. Holy shit. Ken really had a bad after the Barbie movie. Shit. Ah, it's me! A7X is just so good at, like, building this, like, getting heavy, but then having these, like, anthemic moments, like, big and grand that feel powerful, like, not a lot of bands do that well. You either sound like a Madden Dragons, or you do it fucking well, like A7X. Absolutely. I, I, I really enjoy that song. And getting back into this, let me remind you guys that perfect doesn't mean actually perfect. It just means I, I find no critiques with it. Like, like it's just the best I feel it could be. Because I really enjoyed it and I have no complaints with it. That's perfect. Let's do the next song. Nobody. This is their, their big single, wasn't it? I didn't actually listen to it because I was waiting for the album. Hello, Polyphemus. My name is Nobody. I'm no one. I don't know who I am. Simple drum pattern, okay. Really, they really stepped it up lyrically, this album. It's really not as grand musically as it has been, but lyrically, I, I'm fucking digging it. I know they said before it came out that this album was going to be very Kanye. Oh, that there it is. He's the god. That's, that's it. That's why it's Kanye, okay.
Okay, so there, there's gonna be no big climax here. It's just kind of monotone. All right, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, Bob. Is this one of those shit that's like, oh, I'm everyone. I'm a son. I'm a god. I'm, I'm everything. We gotta work together. Fuck you. I'm trying to pay my bills, bitch. Giving me, uh, Hell to the King vibes, that album. It's like an ego death, sort of. It's like, I'm no one, but I'm everyone. Uh -huh. I'm no one. I'm a man without a hand. It's like nothing. Uh -huh. It's like I have a, a name tag. Minecraft. Alright, whenever you're scoring something like this, you have to look at their entire discography, right? Where does this rank? Where is this put? From, from all the classes they have. It's not a terrible song. It's not bad. It's just kind of boring. <laughs> Very monotone. Doesn't go to any cool places. I mean, it doesn't have to. I mean, it, 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 got, it was simple. AISS, keep it simple, stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to put this one as a mid. Like it's almost a good, but I don't see myself ever coming back to the song. I mean, it's all right. Like, like, like it's not bad, but it's it's okay, friend. Anything to write home about either. Track three or four. I don't know. We love you. I've heard this one. This one reminds me a lot of the first song on the album. Well, I did love me so much. I can be anything. Yeah, it gets into this shit. Listen to this. More. Power. More. <laughs> what was hilarious is that during the middle of the song, whenever I saw them live, they had to stop the show because someone had been on in the audience. They had to pull someone out. And they, they had no way to plan for that. So they had to run the song back about halfway, like like a visual on the screen before they could start playing again. And it is not a good song. He's like, I'm not skipping this song. I'm like, you probably should skip this song. Or... Might be a fucking like, old like three days grace or something, like, but not good three days grace. Old beat or something. We love, me. we love each other. Oh. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Like it, it just feels generic. I, I'm, I'm... Okay. All right. Okay. What you got for me? Give me more of that. Give me that for us all. I, I like that. I don't want this. Keep it there. No. I get what it's doing. It's like, oh, like the sweet soft moments is like, Oh, but we love you. You're nice. But this is what we want out of you. More sex, more power, more money. This is what we want. Use you to get it. Come to me. Yeah. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Aww. We love you too. And we love you. I love you too. What's with these weird outros? Like, like they have like a minute thirty of just instrumental. The end of all of these songs. Like, okay, the song wasn't great. Don't keep, don't stick me here. Put me on the next thing. That's a little acoustic though. Okay, they just, I don't mind the outro here. They love me. They love me so much. I didn't love the song. It's okay. I mean, I, I don't want to fault them for experimenting because they, they obviously are. They're, they're going to some different places than you normally would hear on an A7X album. But at the same time, it's not... They're not going to good places. Um, 
I don't want to say that was bad because there were some cool moments in there. Whenever it got heavy, like that, this sounded fucking amazing, and I I did actually like that acoustic outro on that. Um, I want to I want to say bad, but I'm more inclined to give it a mid as well. I mean, it's all right, like. It's okay, I, I don't friend. know lyrically that one really. I'm a big lyric person. If you can't tell, like, like I actually do pay attention to what they're saying. Instrumentally, it was fine, I guess. But except for the more section, that that whole section, uh, Broadway, I don't want it. You could you could have put anything else in that section. The song would have been a lot better. It's just that section sort of ruined it for me. Especially seeing them live and that happening to me, them stopping. They stopped for a good like ten minutes. Like, so we were dwelling, we were stuck in We Love You, and I like, just get to a better fucking song. Get you buried alive or some shit, man. Holy shit. Like, I, I probably have a bias against this song. Cosmic is the next song. Cosmic, I've actually heard a lot of good things about. I've heard that any anytime I see a comment section of Evan Sevenfold talking about the tour or whatever, I see the fans like, when are you putting Cosmic on the tour? When's Cosmic coming? So, hopefully this is a good song. It's taken once again. Death? Okay. We got a love relationship here. Okay, so lover died, or they died, and they're assuring a lover. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of nice. A bit more low key. Not hating it. Six solo. Holy shit. A lot of people like this one. It's got good progression to it. Okay, into part one. Ooh, I wouldn't expect that gun to do like a piano ballad. Okay. Fuck with this one. Oh, this is really nice actually. Okay. Really sweet. Some simp shit. I, I don't. I'm, I'm a fucking baller. How the fuck would I be a simp? Ooh, I didn't... Unless you, they just shit the bed in this last half. I mean, this is beautiful. Really like genuine. Really. We. I fuck with this one. Play auto tune. Usually that fucks with me, but I I don't actually mind it. Here. Now those white bastards. Whenever you get off an airplane and they start clapping, or at the end of a movie they start clapping. That's me putting it down. Dude, that this song makes me fucking wish that I listened to this album sooner. Like, I was putting off this album for a long time just because I, I fucking wanted, like, I, I wanted to record a video on it, and I'm glad I did, but shit, like, that one was good as hell. I fucking love that one. Yeah, that one, um, I don't imagine you doing that any better. It's definitely like, like you lose someone, but it, or you you die, you have a lover, you're like you you, you we'll, we'll see each other again. It's simple concept, but it done to perfection. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, before we continue, any albums you want to see, comment them. I have no patrons at the moment. I, I just created my Patreon, so there there was no waiting list. There's no anything. I, I will do your album almost immediately. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Like, if you want to see something, you will get it. Right? If I haven't heard it before. If I have heard it, I'll probably make a short out of it or something and just give my score of it. And just let you know. Once I do get some patrons going, though, like, I, I will prioritize the patrons for more YouTube comments. But, I mean, if patrons, YouTube comments are all I got. You know? All right. Beautiful morning. Taking the vibe here. I, I, I thought I'd be a lot more critical of this than I am. Didn't, didn't like that. Reminds me a lot of nobody. I didn't fuck with nobody. 
looks like it's trying to be sort of like a trance, sort of. It just gets a little upbeat there, it's the only difference. And he changes his vocal pattern. This feels like the opposite side of something like um, No Surprises by Radiohead. It's a very calm, tranquil song that's talking about fading into death, you know, drowning. It, it, it's... This feels like the other side of it. This is like like anger, but, but talking about beauty, like, like walking through beauty, but still finding the, the death, the, the, the anger, the impending doom. The other one is finding beauty in something bad. This one is finding something bad in beauty. That's what I mean to say, I guess. Wow. Everything's fine. Nothing wrong. It's like walking on sunshine thing in the background. Wow. <laughs> He's trying to like like come off as like ang like scared, angry, abrasive, like 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 seeing the danger and the the bad and everything. His his voice is a little too melodramatic here. If that makes sense. Like he's whining about the hollow shell I was before. He's be a little more angry, a little more sharper. I think. Oh no! Oh! Then another fucking. Another fucking minute of just fucking instrumental. I guess we can talk over this. It can't, it, it's in that same category as nobody. It's like, yes, you're experimenting, you're doing something, you're going, you're going to a couple different places, but it's just not interesting enough. Like, I'm picking up the concepts of the songs here in like the first 30 seconds. It's like, okay, where are you taking this? It's like, it's not going anywhere. But yeah, I, again, it, it's not terrible it's not bad i wouldn't call that a bad song it's just kind of mid i mean it's, it's all right mid. like but, i mean they're doing good so far i mean they it's haven't okay, scored under three out of five stars again mid is just running the mill it's just not bad not good it's just there but i feel about that one. easier uh, they brought back the vocaloid from Cosmic. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, alright. What does this sound like? It sounds like another artist. Boy, vocal performance here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the Vocaloid auto-tune here is working out the way they want it to. Sounds a little Chris cornell -y. Like he's trying to emulate Chris Cornell. Oh, this starts to wow me, it's starting to feel a bit mid-ish again. This one it doesn't feel as offensive as nobody or a warning. You don't hear this in rock and metal, right? You don't. You just don't. I'd like to see them tour with Sleep Token. I think that'd be pretty good. Oh headlining. That's the part here sound very like John Mary. I like that better than Nobody and Beautiful More. Not crazy, pretty simple, they kept it simple, but it, it's weird. I'm, it seems like I'm liking the softer songs of this album than I am the harder one. That's weird to say with Nimbin Sevenfold. Well, I mean, I guess not. I mean, I, I really like, like, Dear God and Little Piece of Heaven, uh, So Far Away. Those are on the softer side of their spectrum. But, yeah, but fuck it, I, I like that. Um, probably not perfect, but we'll, we'll get that a little good. Someone cooked here. Someone cooked here. That's what I'm saying, Walt. That's what, that's what I'm fucking saying. Next track. E. Got a little slap bass going. Sign up. Oh, okay. And we're talking from the point of view of God here. This is kind of a free vibe. I'm never mad. What kind of sky? Look at the scar to it. Jesus Christ, what? You got yeah, it. Me. Wait, 
like, what is this stuff now? It's just like... It's, okay, so it's kind of like looking at God from a negative point. Like, like, there's a bit selfish God is... God from a more, like, passive-aggressive point of view. Okay, that was... I think these three are supposed to be seen as a package. I didn't mind that one. I mean, it's pretty run in the middle of it's Sevenfold. It's, it's seeing God from a passive-aggressive uh, standpoint. Uh, which is weird, like, them coming from a Christian back. It's, it's, it's seeing God as sort of a more observer than anything else happening. Uh, how would I rate that? I would rate that high good. Low good. Approaching mid. I don't see myself Someone cooked here. turning to that one often. But it's not bad. Maybe it'll make a lot more sense with the full package with Ordinary Death. Ordinary. What a slap baser! Oh, these are the last couple of songs. A little groovy. I did not expect this. I expected these last three songs to be a lot like Nobody. It's, it's the voice, is that why you said this is supposed to be like Kanye? This it sounds like the, the auto tune you used on Amazing. Why oh, is so groovy? I'm fucking with it. But at the same time, the riff kind of sounds a little bit like, uh, like a more funky version of, uh, one of my, like, Symphony for the Devil. <laughs> I can have, I, I see why people hated this album now. Probably like, what the fuck is this? This is not a Ben Sevenfold? Someone cooked here. I don't want to say too much about it. I mean, it's just a sweet little funky song. I mean, it was not a lot to say about it. Kind of, kind of fucked with it. What the fuck is happening? A loud singer, are you okay? okay? So, so we're back to suicide again. He killed himself at the beginning of the album, but it seems like we're getting more of a deep dive into that now. That makes the violin and that harsh guitar that's pretty sick. We gonna jump. My legs are tingling off the edge. We doing it, baby. We flying away. Woo! You join in the Black Parade, baby. Ooh. Horns? Okay. I feel like this should have been the first song on the album. I this better than the other one where he said he was going to kill himself. The horns is like an intro? That's sick. I should tell you as, as a uh, Ben Sevenfold fan, I hold no loyalty to, to this shit ain't heavy. I don't with any, uh, any fucking artist I listen to. Oh god, this shit ain't heavy. If it's good music, it's good fucking music. Yeah, that that's... uh. Cool, cool imagery of, of death there, of just dying. 100% is what it, what it achieved its goal. As I, I, I like that one a lot. Oh, well. All right, last song on the album. It's good because I got a fucking piss. All right. Life is but a dream. There is no lyrics. And it's four minutes and 30 seconds. I got a piss. God damn it, there are no lyrics here. I can get a little onesie for your baby. So sorry, entering heaven. I guess this album's meant to give you a sense of like dis disassociation. Just life wasn't worth it anyway. But it is, life is worth it. It gets better, guys. Really good. Trying to be sweet, but it's just like shit. That looks that looks shitty. Fuck that. Life is but a drink. So, drink it. I'm gonna make an album called Life is But a Drink. Bye, be sad. I hear, I heard a lot. Of, they didn't close with this when I saw them. Like, like, I think they had a lot of time cut out, so they couldn't do it. They couldn't do the God trilogy. But this comes on apparently. And I, I guess at concerts, people think that they're about to come back out. They think this is just like a because apparently they leave the stage when this starts playing. But they just never come back out. People are like, oh shit, oh. It's over, I guess. Yeah, I got something to say. Yeah. 
was with his homies. This is my girl. Why did they got a front? What did we ever do to this guy? Yeah, I get it now. I got. We gotta talk about this shit. Quadeca, man, Vince Info. Why you? Why everyone ending their album these long drawn out piano passages or like spoken word passages and shit? Like the ending of your album is just as important as the beginning of your album. You gotta end it fucking strong, man. You gotta come in, like, like end it powerfully. The long piano passage isn't a good way to end your album. If they wanted to they'd say, oh, that's a bonus track or something, okay, yeah, maybe, get that. maybe death is the end of the album. I don't... As mid as you... A piano passage is as mid I mean, as you can It's all right, like... As mid as you can It's okay, friend. <laughs> I'm reading the Genius page. It's like, uh, you're supposed to... Be left thinking about the things that you learned on the the, the the past couple of songs. Just sit with your thoughts. I'm just like I got pissed. I, I I'm just bored. <laughs> Life is but a dream. Overall, better than I thought it would be. I've heard of people talk a lot of shit about this album, but you can't trust a lot of critics. I mean, Santana and Brad gave uh, the new Sleep Token album a two. What the fuck is a two? That album was not great. It wasn't bad. It's a good album, I'd say. There's some great songs like Cosmic. I, I fucking love Cosmic. Hell was great. I'll, I'll be coming back to those songs. Maybe even Game Over. I don't know. Uh, I like Ordinary. I like Death. Yeah, let, let's let's hit this album. I'm thinking let's go with six. I was gonna say seven, but. But, uh, not quite a set. It, it's not bad. It really is. A lot of it is just mid, very standard metal. But at the same time, in a lot of places, it is trying to experiment. It is trying to do things. A lot of things that normal metal and rock isn't doing. It's just not the level of success they would have hoped, I would say. Uh, but overall, you know, enjoyed it. Best track is definitely Cosmic. I like that song a lot. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you want to hear next. It can be any genre, rock, metal, whatever. Uh, also let me know some like things we can rip into, like some online like covers, community toilets, or some shit. Like I, I don't care. I'd like to make some some gag videos too. It, it, I won't be posting at the rate that I I did before, but I will be posting because I because I've got three different channels that I'm trying to post between. Just if you like these videos, make sure to show some support with it so I know to keep with this channel rather than the other ones. <laughs> if you want to see the full reaction to this video, check out my Patreon. Link should be in the description. Yeah, I have your phases. Get the fuck out of my screen.